This is Jupiter Today for the 12th of March, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. There are four Jupiter satellite events today and zero satellite mutual events today. EO begins the day in quadrant four, heading east. Europa starts the day in quadrant three, heading west. Ganymede spends all day in quadrant four, heading east. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant two, heading west. This blue line is the line of sight to the Earth, and this gray line is the line of sight to the Sun. At 1.31 UTC, EO moves behind Jupiter, and at 4.35 UTC, EO reappears from Jupiter's shadow. At 6 hours UTC, EO has now successfully moved behind Jupiter, and is in quadrant 1, heading east, and Europa is getting near its western elongation, and is going to be moving into quadrant 4, heading east. At 12 hours UTC, EO is near its eastern elongation and going to be moving into quadrant 2, heading west. At 1728 UTC, Europa goes through a perigove, and that's the closest it's going to be to Jupiter in this orbit. And that's 664,899.2 kilometers. And then at 18 hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant two, heading west. And at 18.05, EO goes through a pair of Jove, and that's 420,000, 22.7 kilometers. And you notice that the pair of Joves of EO and Europa are on almost exactly opposite sides of Jupiter. And then at 2240 UTC, the transit of EO begins. And at 2326, the shadow of EO ingresses. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO is now transiting and going to be moving into quadrant three, heading west. Europa is still in quadrant four, heading east, along with Ganymede. And Callisto continues its slow motion in quadrant two, heading west. Orbital ribbons for today. These are the temporal and spatial connections between the four Galilean moons. So there's the connection today between Eo and Europa, Eo and Ganymede, Eo and Callisto, and then Europa and Ganymede. It's a nice sheet there and Europa and Callisto, and finally Ganymede and Callisto, and then I combine all these to get that for today. 24 hours of Jupiter sky, sitting on the equator of Jupiter, looking out over the next 24 hours. Jupiter rotates on its axis couple of times in 24 hours. You just saw Eo pop out of Jupiter's shadow there. Is Europa going to be moving in front of Ganymede? Maybe someday some human eyes will actually be able to witness these events. For now, we just get to simulate them. There goes Eo in front of Callisto. It's a very dynamic place, the Jupiter system. And that's why I'd like to watch it and observe it as much as possible. goes EO between Jupiter and the Sun. It's a 
transit from Earth's point of view. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian three times today. The first at 0 hours 32 minutes, the next at 10.27, and the third at 20.23. There's some new images posted and sent to me. Thanks for all those. I've been monitoring this curious feature here almost at the same latitude as the Great Red Spot. I haven't looked too carefully at this yet, but I've been paying attention to its position and consistency and it's been there for at least a few days. And then in this particular instance, we just reverse the colors. And that can bring out more interesting features that you wouldn't normally see. And there was some new radio data. and there were no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, five minutes, 18.3 seconds, and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 41 minutes, 30.2 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 142.687 degrees, and that's 1.083 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle today is 6.474 degrees, and that's 0.164 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth continues to get greater and greater as Earth revolves around the Sun and appears to be moving away from Jupiter. So the distance between those two bodies is getting greater and greater every day. Today it's 675,923,942 kilometers. And that's 1,440,052 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And we've now exceeded our 60,000 kilometer per hour radio velocity mark. Today we're going to be at 60,000 2.17 kilometers per hour, and that's 1,503.13 kilometers per hour greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 799,205,502 kilometers, and that's 44,838 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radio velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,868.25 kilometers per hour. And that's 6.75 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 317.78 degrees, CM2, 79.17 degrees, CM3, 356.54 degrees. The time of this recording is 0 hours 34 minutes UTC on the 12th of March, 2015. So please subscribe and thank you for subscribing. Always like to hear your comments and suggestions and questions. And I like to see the images coming in. Greatly appreciated all of those. So you can send all of these to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.